Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where we are currently on our way to New Troy, and we will be there in about 18 days. Our stalker will be ready to be equipped with weapons in about 16 days. It will not be fully ready, but let's just proceed for right now. Our stealth just finished up, and our Vulcan will finish up as well. I like how they actually in Rogue Tech skip the jump ship animations, although I wish there was an option for it. I wish that it worked like in the vanilla game, except you could press space to skip it. That would be nice. Alas, it does not work that way. For now, we will proceed, and we're going to proceed at Generous. I want to continue having the plus one morale and plus one tech. So, let's go. Eight days until our stalker is done. There's another jump. Oh. It didn't skip this animation. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I guess it doesn't skip the final jump. Okay, so we are currently in transit here, and we have two more days. Our stalker just finished up, and of course, we need to put actual weapons on it. So let's go ahead and refit this thing. We have 43 tons remaining. Oh boy. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four missile hard points. We have a support hard point here. And we have, what, six energy hard points? Okay. And 43 tons to do this with. First things first, I want to prioritize making this into a missile boat. This is inauspicious. We've got an LRM 20 and three LRM 15s on hand. How much does an LRM-20 weigh? That weighs 10 tons. Okay. And an LRM-15 weighs 7 tons. Technically, LRM-15s are slightly more weight efficient because they should weigh 7.5 tons. Interesting. We could put on, say, dual LRM-15s, we'll have a Delta and a regular LRM-15 for now, and then we'll experiment with what else we want to have on here. Where is case hidden? Like, what category is that? Engine cores... Is that an equipment, perhaps? Is case in here? Because I would definitely like to have some case in this. No? Okay. In that case, we will put LRM ammo in the legs. Just as far away as we can. We want to have this be ammo, of course. How much LRM ammo do we have on, a, on us right now? These are dead fire LRMs. They trade advanced guidance system for a bigger payload and reduced minimum range. That's not really relevant for what we're going for. These are listen kills. Improves their accuracy. Upon receiving a critical hit, it'll explode. Yep. Okay, so plus one accuracy with this weapon. They have active targeting, 35% more likely to be intercepted by AMS. We only have half a ton of ammo of this. We have half a ton of ammo for thunder munitions. Minus 70 LRM damage. Okay, so this is this is the mine ammo. Okay, and this is thunder I. This is similar. Okay. That's fine. We might want to just go with generic LRM ammo for right now. Maybe. And we could put in, say, four tons of it. So something like this. I'm surprised that we don't need extra heat sinks on this, now that I think about it. Okay, yeah, I guess we don't. We do have this heat sink here, which maybe we move that to the head? Yeah, we could do that. What if, hypothetically, we ran something really dumb here? Like, say, a pair of PPCs. We don't have a pair of PPCs. What's the range on a heavy PPC? Optimal is 360, max is 720. That's the same as a regular PPC. That's 7 tons and 10 tons. Hypothetically, I realize that trashes our heat efficiency. I'm just kind of messing around at this point. 
That leaves us with an additional seven tons. But I feel like this is not specialized enough. So let's actually drop those. And I would rather that we run additional missiles. What if we ran an LRM-20 and an LRM-15? That gives us eight tons to work with. This is a ludicrous amount of missiles per turn. That is, let's see here, 45, 65 missiles. So we would fire over half a ton of LRMs per turn. So right now, we would be sitting at a rather paltry, let's see here, 120 times 4. Let me pull up a calculator, actually. So 120 times 4 gives us 480 missiles. Divide that by 65. That gives us just 7.3 turns of ammunition. And we have 8 tons remaining. Our heat efficiency is not great. So we would definitely need additional heat sinks. We can't run double heat sinks, obviously. But we could put in, say, a pair of heat sinks... That puts us at 39... Wait, do we have jump jets? No, we don't have jump jets. Okay. So that puts us at 39 sinking, so a delta heat of 11. Okay. And then as backup weapons, we could run, say, a pair of ER mediums. Something like this. I would love to have case. Do we have case in here at all? I have no idea where that's actually hidden. I don't know if it's under internals. I'm not sure if we have a case available anyway. We only have four tons remaining, and we need to split that between additional ammo and additional heat sinking. Of course, we're not going to fire the LRMs and the ERs at the same time. Our heat generation for the ERs is 30. And we do sink enough there so that we could, in theory, alternate between the LRMs and the ERs if we have a direct LOS, which in theory this stalker is not intended to have. I would honestly prefer to have an LRM 15 over this LRM 20 here. That would be ideal. Unfortunately, that's not really an option, but we could drop it down to this LRM 5. That would mean that we are utilizing 20, 35, 60, no, 50 missiles per turn. Let me check that. So it's 480 total missiles that we have, divided that by 50. That would give, give us 9.6 turns of ammo. It's better. And that does free up a fair amount of tonnage here. To the point where we could equip something additional. Or we could equip additional heat sinks, which is definitely something that I'm interested in doing. We could put in, say, a pair of heat sinks here. Max out this armor, which is a pretty important thing to do. And we still have three tons remaining. That's an alpha of 67 heat, but we can reduce that by 30. And if we're alternating between our missiles and our ERs, we would be sinking heat every round. And we still have three tons remaining. That's very interesting. Do we have a fire control system for missiles? Also, look at how long this is going to take. <laughs> that makes me sad. Do we have a fire control system for missiles currently? I don't believe we do. That's night vision fire controls. Yeah, we don't. Well, we could put a few additional tons of ammo LR of LRM ammo in. We could put in a little bit over here. And actually, that's the only one that we could potentially put in. I think I don't want to put it in the CT. Maybe we put it in the head. If it explodes there, we have a problem. But the odds of hitting the head are much lower. I don't like it, but we don't have case, so I guess we'll have to live with it. We have two tons remaining, and what else do we want to put in this? We could put in an AMS in theory. That would need some AMS ammo.
but we could put in an AMS there in that hardpoint to help protect our investment here. And then we would need AMS ammo, which we do have one ton of. Ammo bin will explode. Okay. Once again, I wish we had case. We can do that. Our armor is already maxed, and we still have another half ton to work with. I suppose we could put in, say, half a ton of dead fire ammo. We still have a little bit of weight here. We could potentially drop a small amount of armor in just a couple of locations. Like, just a little bit of frontal armor, like that. And put in a full ton of Deadfire LRM ammo. I mean... That works. Yeah, that would theoretically do. I would really prefer to have case, so we could have a case in, say, this arm... And then all of our ammo would be here. And we'd move around, like, our heat sinks into our legs. But I guess this will have to do. So that'll take 32 days, and that is mostly putting in the armor. So the stalker will not be available for a little while yet. But that was expected. So let's proceed. And we'll travel to New Troy here. We are actually pretty much ready to proceed with the contract, but I'm not going to do it immediately. Because, now that we are here, I want to double check our pilots and see if we can get anything. And actually we can. We can grab a point of tactics for, for Devourer. Plato could grab a point of almost anything. Let's see. Max Evasion? Yes. Showboat here could grab a point of Guts. Squire. Is not really ready to do anything. Yes, yes, Commander. Ulysses could grab a point of piloting too for that max evasion, though. Confirmed. Wonderful. Okay, now we're ready to launch this. Okay, so we need the Panther over here. The Vulcan can go here. The Hunchy can go here. Wonderful. We probably want Plato in the Vulcan and then Ulysses, I think, in the Panther. Okay, that should do. This is a two-skull capture base mission, so this might get a little bit spicy, but let's see. Hopefully, this isn't too bad, but it might. It might be too bad. Luckily, we are about a month tick away from having our stalker done, so that will change the balance of power tremendously. We need to capture the Ordnance Depot. We've been tracking the movement of several Merrick convoys, and that's allowed us to pinpoint their destinations, a hidden, well-defended Ordnance Depot. This facility is a key supplier for local Merrick forces, and taking it from them will significantly damage their efforts against us. We'd like you to drop in, take the depot, and hold out against enemy reinforcements. This should be straightforward. Move up, recon the depot, and then occupy it. Once we secure the area, the Capellan Confederation will send in their people to loot the place. Okay. Hopefully this is straightforward. Commander, I'm not picking up any active hostiles anywhere. The place looks deserted. Let's move up and recon this facility. Once we know what we're dealing with, we can move in and occupy the depot. Okay. So we don't need to destroy any turrets. How are we getting the Hunchy off of here? We have to go this way. Okay. Makes sense. Move order so it'll take us a little bit to get over there. That shouldn't be too... No, not there. Too, too bad. There we go. We're not going to occupy until everybody's up there. We'll definitely allow the Hunchy and the Panther to catch up. And I'm just checking to see routes up here. This is a potential route up. It looks like we can just make it up here. Affirmative. I'm going 
So that's what we will do for right now. The Hunchie is going to be falling a bit behind. But we need to scout the depot. And I don't want to move any further. Because we may trigger a spawn quite soon. I want to allow the Hunchie to catch up a little bit. So we'll just place the stealth right there. And the Vulcan right there. We just got a contact. That's an Apollo. Relatively thick rear armor. That's a light LRM carrier. That's not a big deal. Good to go. The Panther can come over here. And we are now in combat. Good to go. The question is... We actually do have LOS here. Would this count as scouting the facility? I suspect it would not. And we might be able to take out this support lance relatively quickly. It's thin armor on the light LRM carrier. We'll take this pot shot. Okay, 50 damage dealt. That Apollo is a missile boat. Roger that. Did we take any damage from that? No, we did not. Wonderful. I'm going to sprint the Vulcan up over here. That's Oh, that's a minefield launcher. Okay, I gotcha. We're going to actually jump. Yeah, that would jump to minefield. We can't jump to forest here and also have an LOS, which is unfortunate. And was what I was hoping for. Roger that. So we'll just place the Vulcan here for now. Okay. Eight damage. Not very relevant. They definitely have a lot of missiles over there. Four damage. Sounded a lot scarier than it was. Okay, we are going to jump the panther up over here. That's a hammer. Okay, LRM5 and a bunch of medium lasers. Our hit odds are really low, but we're going to go for it. Yeah, I didn't expect anything. Okay, we're going to close in with our hunchy as well. As close as we can, anyway. I was intending to not engage this yet. That's just that LRM5. Irrelevant. Commander. Okay. The stealth can move up to here. And yeah, there is minefield there. We're going to take some small amounts of damage in our legs. And we're going to light up this light LRM carrier again. Looked like a solid hit, but we didn't penetrate the armor. The Apollo fires on the Vulcan. Does a small amount of damage. More importantly, there are minefields over here now. Ready for orders. Actually, there are not. Fascinating. We can jump to right here. What the hell? There's no garrison. Wait, we're getting something. Commander, it looks like the garrison was on patrol, and they're on the way back. Get ready for multiple contacts. I mean, these guys were right here already. But hopefully we can kill the light LRM carrier right now. Roger that. Wonderful. Bye -bye. Okay, we are not going to occupy the base just yet, if we can at all help it. Ready for order. The panther has to jump here. We could jump over here and be able to fire on the hammer. The hit odds are again incredibly low. And I don't expect that we hit. But that's fine. We're just closing in. Okay, the Hunchy is going to continue to sprint forward up over this direction. Wonderful. Okay. Both of us move before the Apollo does. A dropship is inbound here. Fascinating. Let's take this position... And hit this Apollo side flank. Confirmed. That was some hefty damage. I will be done. Now I want to jump in behind the Apollo here. 
and hopefully they don't drop their reinforcements until we capture this. Because there would be some potential rear arc awkwardness here. Okay, that Apollo is definitely causing issues, or having issues rather. That hammer closes in, does 25 damage plus 5 to the Vulcan. That's not very relevant. The Apollo moves out. Does really very little to the stealth there. Were you trying to attract my attention or something? Yeah. Okay, we're going to close in with the Hunchy. And we're actually in range to fire on the hammer a little bit. Our hit odds are really low, but we'll take the pot shot. The heat, the heat level buildup is irrelevant. And we actually did 33 damage there. We'll definitely take that. We are not going to jump the panther here. I can tell you that right now. On my way. We're just going to move it. And this is not worth attacking. We're going to sink heat. Okay. Hammer closes in. Does more damage than I would have liked to the panther, but that's because we only had the one evasive pip. I'm here. The Vulcan is now in a position to get in behind this guy again, but I think I'd rather do it with the stealth. Can we position in such a way where they wouldn't, strictly speaking, hit rear arc? Maybe if we jump. Hmm. No, not quite. It would be side arc if we jumped like this. And I think side arc is acceptable. And now we'll really light this Apollo up. Okay. Structure exposed. He does have AMS. Which makes me kind of sad. We're going to do the same thing with the Vulcan here. We are potentially exposed to the hammer. And I do realize that. But the Apollo is potentially dead here. Primitive. Okay, we crit the gyro. I think I hit something good. Not something, I guess. The Apollo is going to fire on the stealth and do very little damage, really. Stop. Wonderful. Yep. The Hunchy is now going to sprint over this direction and go for this side arc attack Arm. on the hammer. And we have reasonable hit odds here, actually. Let her rip. Yeah, that did some proper damage. Okay, the panther, can we get somewhere useful here? Yes. This is quasi-useful. We're not going to fire the SRM. Okay, we did not hit with the PPC, but that's kind of to be expected. Okay, these guys are landing. I was hoping to delay that until these guys were dead. Unfortunately, that did not become a thing. Okay, they're firing on the Hunchy. That's fine. Okay, what do we got over here? We've got a Wasp. We've got... I believe that was a Spider? Strider, okay. And a Hunter. Fair enough. I live to serve. So I'd like to get the Vulcan... Perhaps there's another dropship inbound over here. Is this our evac point, I wonder? Yeah, this is a pretty ideal location for the Vulcan. I don't like our current amount of stability, so we are going to Vigilance here. There we go. And now we are going to light up the rear arc of the Apollo, and this is potentially a kill. Heat sink explosion. Okay, we took out the we took out his heat sinks. That's something, I guess. We're gonna move in the stealth similarly. And this should probably be a kill. He does have that AMS though. Okay, that's another we destroyed his prototype double heat sink. Okay. So this Apollo is going to be struggling. Pretty heavily. 
Wonderful. Nothing I can't handle. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to deal with this incoming lance. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.